In this video, I'll guide you through the process of redirecting users from the default WooCommerce thank you page to a custom-built page when users initiate product checkouts. I will be sharing with you two methods to accomplish this task. The first method allows us to do so without installing an additional plugin, at least for most users. However, some of us may require the assistance of a theme file editor plugin to execute the PHP function I'll share with you shortly. The second method requires us to install a plugin to execute the PHP function, and it's likely my preferred option because the plugin we would be using can also serve future purposes beyond our immediate needs. To get started with the first method, let's open up our site's dashboard and hover over Appearance to select Theme File Editor. But we can see that the Theme File Editor isn't available in my case. This was an intentional omission to address the concerns many of us might have with this option disabled. So how do we enable this option to achieve what we need? We'll be coming to that momentarily, but first, for those fortunate enough to have the Theme File Editor enabled, let's open it up. I highly recommend using a child theme in making edits to a theme's core file, simply because when a parent theme gets updated, any changes made to its files over time will be overwritten. So, to avoid constantly editing your theme's files after each update, using a child theme, which acts as an independent layer, ensures that customizations like this remain intact even if the parent theme is updated. Focusing on the issue at hand. To the right, ensure that the child or parent theme installed on your site is selected. Underneath this, let's search for the functions.php file and have that selected. Please keep in mind that this could be at the very top, as in my case, or it could be right in the middle of these options. Once that's selected, let's shift our focus to the file editor, and I'll need you to scroll to the bottom of this field to insert the code which you can find in the video's description. We might as well add some spacing to the bottom by tapping the Enter button twice before pasting the code here. Once the code has been inserted, copy and paste the thank you page URL to where it says insert URL here, between these apostrophes. Lastly, update the file, and then move on to confirm your edits by initiating a demo product checkout. Now, for those who don't have the theme file editor enabled, let's head over to plugins to install the theme editor plugin by MNDP Sing287. Once installed and activated, hover over Appearance to select the theme code editor, now make sure to have your site's theme selected, and then scroll down to find and click on functions.php. Just like we did for the default WordPress theme file editor, scroll to the bottom and insert the code you find in this video's description. Hit the Enter button on your keyboard twice to add spacing to the bottom before pasting the code. Once you have that inserted, copy and paste your thank you page URL into the part that reads insert URL between these apostrophes. Lastly, update the file, and then move on to confirm your edits by initiating a demo product checkout. After which, you can proceed to deactivate and delete this plugin. I earlier mentioned the second method is likely my favorite because the plugin we'd be installing helps us manage future code snippets that we may want to apply to our site in an orderly and transparent manner. So let's add a new plugin and search for code snippets. We'll be installing this one by Code Snippets Pro. Once installed and activated, hover over the Code Snippet plugin to add a new snippet. I'll title mine along the lines of WooCommerce Checkout Redirects. Let's insert the PHP function you'll find in the video's description within this field, and the part that reads Insert URL would be where we'd want to insert the Thank You page URL into between these apostrophes. Next, ensure the Run Snippet Everywhere is selected. Then, scroll down to save and activate the changes. To confirm our edits, I'd open up a product page and begin by adding it to cart. Then, I'll proceed to checkout and fill in the required information. When I initiate this checkout, I'll get redirected to the custom thank you page I used in running the code snippet. And that's all it takes to redirect users from the default WooCommerce thank you page to a custom built page. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.